guys welcome to another art cast tutorial and today we are going to discuss a terrazzo technique now if you guys have missed out my earlier video i posted how to do terrazzo technique using your traditional sanding method however here i am trying something different it is not a very popular technique for terrazzo but i wanted to give it a try and i let you decide if you like this particular technique or not so what I do is I kind of coat the mold with the liquid of the art cast part and then I throw in some uh, terrazzo chips that I had created. Uh, now that how I had created terrazzo chips etc. all those you can check in my previous video. I'll link that below for you all. And I will let this dry for a couple of minutes you know so that those terrazzo chips stick to the liquid as it is drying. Now you could ideally let this sit for 10-20 minutes before you you know move on to the next part that is one thing I learned after doing this particular technique is that let the liquid completely dry on your mold and you know let those terrazzo chips kind of stick to those liquid thoroughly before you kind of pour in your cast mixture. Now for the cast mixture I am just creating a regular cast mixture. The amount of liquid and powder I am using is mentioned on the screen so you can check that. The ratio of art cast is 1 part liquid to 2.5 part powder and then you can see I have kind of mixing it and then I will pour it into the coaster. Now here you will see that in the mix I am not adding any kind of terrazzo chips because this is a no sanding terrazzo chips method that I am using and just to kind of create more contrast what I have done is in the mix I have added some white pigment. Now normally since white is comparatively a lighter pigment as compared to the natural shade you need comparatively a lot of it and that is why I have used quite a lot of white pigment into my mixture. Now you can see that you know I have poured in the trazo, uh, poured in the mix into my coaster mold and it is quite liquid so it is very easily pourable that is because my everything was ready by the time I started pouring into the mold you know my molds my setup everything was quite ready. So that is what I suggest as in all my videos. Now I am tapping my uh, coaster mold uh, so that all the bubbles you know kind of come off. Now here one more thing that I learned after unmolding is that you need to tap it a little bit more because there were a, quite a few bubbles left on the surface. Once I unmold you will see those bubbles on the coasters but uh, those were what you know were left. So here you can see we created a terrazzo technique coaster without actually sanding. So you can see all those beautiful chips showing through, through the white mix that we added on the coaster and i'll show the close up in a minute but this is how it looks on the back it looks normal because you know in the mix we did not add any terrazzo so kind of my two takeaways after doing this particular technique was that a uh, make sure that you know your chips dry completely on the liquid and then you know you move on to pour your uh, main pour into the coaster mold and second is that uh, make sure you tap your uh, coaster mold properly or whatever mold you are using so that there are no air bubbles left. Now as always uh, as I tell with all my videos for the purpose of uh, this video I have added varnish immediately but uh, I would highly suggest that you wait at least two days before you varnish your project. This what this will do is this will let the air uh, the water completely water content completely dry from your piece before you you know you put varnish on top of it. So that way there are no cracks that come in later on on your cast project. And here I had shown you both the options the terrazzo technique which was the traditional one with sanding and the one where no sanding was required. I hope you enjoyed both the techniques if you did don't forget to like comment and do consider subscribing to my channel and also love to hear which technique was your favorite. I'll see you in my next tutorial till then guys take care bye bye.